Module two is harmony at first level of existence, harmony in the human being as an individual. So as we seen here, this is the first level of our existence. So the module two is going to talk about harmony in the human being, the first level of existence. So module two will also have the six lectures and it will uh, be covered over the, the entire uh, four sessions. Morning session, uh, is going to cover lecture seven and lecture eight. The uh, initial part is going to be understanding human being as coexistence of self and body. And then we'll to have the clarity of these, this coexistence. The needs of the self and body have to be understood the, with clarity. What is the distinction between the two? Because the lot of misunderstanding appears to be there that need of the body is what is going to fulfill the need of myself as well. Then it is going to be followed by a practice session. That is what is going to be this particular session, uh, morning's first session. It is going to be followed by other sessions, which will cover the remaining uh, four lectures. Well, so uh, we start with the lecture seven, understanding human being as coexistence of self and the body. Well, the process of understanding is going to be the same, that everything is going to be stated in the form of proposal. Don't assume any proposal to be true or false. Verify at your own right, and own right means based upon your natural acceptance, not based upon what is stated uh, uh, by me or by you in your classroom. Well, so when we refer to someone as a human being, uh, what exactly does it mean? What do we see? What do we visualize someone referred as a human being? So we have talked about it that uh, when we say someone or we address someone as human being, we are referring to two separate realities, two separate identities, two separate units. One is the body and other is the self. Body is tangible, can be seen, can be felt. And then there is another unit self, which makes the body work in different ways. So we keep using this word, you know, I am happy, I am excited, I am bored, I'm not uh, feeling comfortable. So is it the, that I may be sitting in a very comfortable environment of my drawing room, but when I say I'm not, somehow I feel very as. Is it the body which is feeling agitated or that I is referred to something else? That something else is self. So this is what can be a, taken forward to the students with ease. Can I distinguish between this, this body and I? This is something can easily be explored. So what is being proposed here can easily be the part of the education. It is not ambiguous or something which cannot be explored by our students. So as we see here, human being is coexisting, uh, a human being is coexistence of two realities. One is the body and other is a self. And then what does this arrow indicate? There is a continuous interaction between the two. There is an exchange of information between the two. So both of them are Coexisting with, with each other. Body is existing with self. Self is existing with the body. Body is fulfilling the need of the self. Self is fulfilling the need of the body. Uh, uh, let me just. Uh, at any stage, there is any element of doubt and any of the proposal, I request the participants to raise their hands. The uh, question can be addressed at any stage. Well, so when we see this, let us understand the needs of these two realities. We see that need of the self is happiness. Feelings like respect and need of the body is 
physical facilities like food, water, clothes, shelter. Uh, yeah, Rajivji, you can unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Very good morning. Actually, sir, uh, uh, though physically, uh, physical existence of body is required, but sir, uh, self, mm -hmm. it is completely different. Uh, without self, body is incomplete. And without body, self is incomplete, sir. Mm -hmm. so, so what is... Mm -hmm. So the requirement of both, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir, um, uh, coexistence, it occurs. Mm -hmm. uh, the, suppose like uh, the concept of point from the concept of point mm -hmm. no dimension no size no shape just only exist mm -hmm. the similar way sir the existence of self inside the body mm -hmm. it has no direct identity mm -hmm. it exists and without the existence of this point without the existence of self sir, body never exists mm -hmm. so what is proposed to be seen as coexistence not yes, that self is residing in the body or body is residing in the self. They coexist with each other. Exactly. Coexist with each other. And this is what can easily be uh, explored. This can easily be observed. It can easily be seen. So, yes. uh, okay, sir. Like, for example, uh, how do you feel that body is there? How do you feel body is there? You see it? Yes, sir. You touch it? Okay. Yes. Now, yes. Uh, if you close your eyes, yes, sir. Do you feel body is there? No, sir. You cannot feel body is there when you no. close your eyes. Yes, sir. Uh, so, how do you feel the body is there by observing certain sensations from the body? Now, who is observing these sensations? Body is just experiencing sensation, but feeling is in the self. We can see that self is feeling the sensation and deciding that body is there. Similarly, it is the self who is seeing the form of the body and deciding that the body is there. Body of such and such person is there. Okay, okay. sir. Okay, sir. It's clear, sir. Huh. Right, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, welcome, sir. So, the need of the a body is physical facility. And if we see on the reference of time, the need of the body is temperate. Body is hungry. Food is consumed. Is no more hungry. Body is thirsty. Water is consumed. So body is uh, ex uh, you know, feeling cold. The uh, woolen cloth is covered. Is comfortable. So it comes and goes. The need of the body is temporary in nature. While need of the self can easily be explored and seen that it is continuous. It is not stated that in the morning, happiness is naturally acceptable to me, while in the afternoon, unhappiness also is naturally acceptable. Or Monday, unhappiness is okay. Tuesday, happiness is a must. The need of the self is continuous need, which is naturally acceptable. That is what is naturally acceptable. At no stage, Unhappiness is naturally acceptable to me, whether in the morning, evening, Sunday, Monday, January, February. It is naturally acceptable to me all the time. So there is a continuity of this need. Now, in terms of quantity, this need is qualitative. We don't say half liter of respect or one kg of happiness. So it is qualitative in nature. It is feeling based. While in case of body, the need can easily be seen as quantitative. Body is hungry. A one person may consume five chapatis, another person may consume four at least. It is quantitative. Water, milk, clothes, house, everything is, can be quantified. Not only this, it can also be easily seen that every single quantity of the facility, physical facility to fulfill the need of the body is required in limited quantity. The food is required to fulfill the need of the, or satisfy the hunger of the body 
in limited quantity. You can calculate the food requirement for one person for a day, for the entire family for a day, for the entire family for the entire year, for the entire world, it can be, it is still going to be limited quantity. It cannot be unlimited quantity. So every single physical facility to fulfill the need of the body can easily be seen as quantitative and that too required in limited quantity. You see, any physical facility around you, in your house, at your workplace. It is required only in limited quantity. One may need quantity X, other may need quantity Y, but it is limited quantity. It is not unlimited quantity. It can easily be seen. Or uh, anybody feels that uh, uh, it, is it is in unlimited quantity. So uh, the can keep raising hands and uh, I will provide my to interact. Well, I move forward. Yes, uh, Seema ma'am. Sir, uh, mm -hmm. our body requires things in limited qu uh, quantity mm -hmm. of physical facility, but mm -hmm. the insecurity of our mind uh, mm -hmm. then conditions it to want more and mm -hmm. more and hoard more and more and sometimes consume more than what is required. Mm -hmm. So this is all that I wanted to say. Not a question, it was just a uh, uh -huh. reflection. Okay, well, ma'am. So uh, this is what is the role of the education. To provide the capacity among our students to identify the need of physical facilities. That they are required in limited quantity. So to cater for See that fear is what? Fear is that I have less than required. That is the fear. So if it finishes, what happens next? So this fear is coming from somewhere. Okay. So this is the role of the education to make the student understand so that he's able to identify the actual need of the physical facility. And then the skills and practice for sustainable production of this identified physical facility. But when he continuously keeps living in this loop of that I have less than required, so he keeps work, working only on accumulation of more. And more. That is what. So it is due to lack of right understanding. So as we move further, it will open up a little more. Well. So are these needs a different types or of the same type? And are both needs important, or do we want to fulfill? For, we, we, do we do we want fulfillment of both types of needs? We can easily see the need of the physical facility, the the, the physical requirement of physical facility to fulfill of fulfill the needs of the body is also required. But then, fulfillment of the need of the self also is required. So both the needs are important, and then. Both the needs are different. The are we working to fulfill both types of needs, or are the focus is only to fulfill the need of the body? Because the focus is only to create more and more, or accumulate, or produce more and more physical facility. And living with this assumption that if I have more and more physical facility, this is going to ensure fulfillment of the need of the self that is to be in a state of continuous happiness. So let us see a, a, that are both the needs important? Let me just uh, uh, seek response from uh, Sandhya ma'am. What do you say? Namaste, are both sir. the needs? Namaste. Namaste ma'am. So are both the sir, needs have... important? Huh? Go ahead. Yes, your, your question first. Okay. Okay. Uh, my question, I was just uh, mm -hmm. listening to the uh, lecture. I just uh, realized uh, the one thought which came in my mind that is, sir, mm -hmm. if a person dies, then mm -hmm. body is still there. Mm -hmm. But some... Uh, 
then there we go. Speech is uh, getting stretched. <clears throat> no, ma'am, I'm not able to hear you. Soul, which has hmm. been lost. Are we referring to the soul and a body? Ma'am, I missed out your uh, okay. content of your. Uh, uh, can you hear me, madam? Ah, now, now better. Ha. Yeah, yeah. Sir, uh, just listening to a lecture, something hmm. uh, a thought came in my mind that hmm. when a person dies, uh, his body is still around, but hmm. the something which we called as a chaitanya or a soul is lost. Hmm. So, uh, as the uh, human being is a coexistence of self and a body, all the time the uh, the thing which we are referring as a self, are we uh, referring to uh, the soul all the time? Because mm -hmm. it's, uh, as I had uh, listened to so many lectures of uh, you, mm -hmm. we from mm -hmm. there, it is very, uh, very clear to me that it's, it's not mine. It's a combination of something. But what is mm -hmm. that something? Uh, it is always uh, pondering in my, um, uh, mm -hmm. my mind and at the back of the mind. And mm -hmm. coming up to your question, yes, mm -hmm. uh, both the needs of the self mm -hmm. as well as body are important. Mm -hmm. And uh, because we are... Uh, putting mm -hmm. lots of efforts in mm -hmm. proving that our physical needs are more important. That is, bodies mm -hmm. uh, need by the bodies are more important. Uh, self mm -hmm. has been ignored uh, many a times by almost all, all the human beings. And that is uh, one of the reasons mm -hmm. for not achieving happiness or moving mm -hmm. towards an happiness. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is what is uh, we only are... Uh, mm -hmm. Obstacling our natural acceptance uh, just mm -hmm. by providing more importance to our uh, physical facilities. Over mm -hmm. to you, sir. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So uh, the first part is, ma'am, when you say that coexistence is not there, coexistence is over, then the body is only which is left. Okay, that's very right, ma'am. Yes, so, so the self, the conscious uh, uh, unit, gets is no more coexisting with the body. A, when the person is no more as a living being. Well, ma'am, that point is, uh, uh, can easily be explored, can easily be sent. You use any word, use man, use I, use self, but this is what can easily be seen. So, uh, uh, and uh, what exactly we have done while uh, choosing the words that every single uh, statement or proposal or uh, 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 word or content is verifiable. This can easily be verified. So when I say, hey, I'm angry, who is angry? Body is not angry. I, so this I, we are referring as self. Man, this is what is self. And this can easily be uh, seen. So this is reality. This is reality. So so we, we are talking about all through uh, uh, in the content as content of the USB of reality is only. So at no stage, any word is coined, any phrase is coined, uh, coined you know, which is which cannot be verified by our students. Okay, ma'am. So this self can easily be verified, can easily be explored by each of our students. And uh, second thing, absolutely, you are uh, in agreement. Both of them are required. In the family, for example, there is a little, uh, you know, disagreement a uh, short while ago between two spouses. You know, there had been some argument. Uh, and there is a feeling of opposition between the two. And uh, it so happens the wife, you know, breaks the food on the table the way the husband. I mean, let's not go for the gender bias, but just a simple example. And wife just pushes that plate in front of the husband. So the food is a physical facility to fulfill the need of the body of uh, the spouse. But look at the fulfillment of the need of the self, like respect. In fact, many times it may really happen that husband, you know, pushes back the plate towards the spouse, towards wife. I don't need, I'm not feeling hungry. I'm not, I, I don't need it. Okay. So both types of needs are important. Both types of needs need fulfillment. And the effort is required to be made to fulfill both types of needs. Well, now, what is the priority between uh, the two needs. This is what is very important to be seen because what happens, we talked about yesterday also, when we have the right understanding, when we have the right understanding, it becomes clear the relationship proceeds over the physical facility. What is the priority then? In fact, there are many occasions, for example, in a particular family, 
uh, of North India, 15 or 16 chapati, there are five members or four members, and 16 chapatis a day are consumed. And due to some reason, on a particular day, uh, there are only 10 chapatis or there are only eight chapatis. So how, what happens? Is there a conflict? Is there a fight in the family for snatching the chapatis? Or in uh, down south, for example, uh, uh, the house consumes you know, 20 idlis and that day it happens to be just 12 idlis availability in the family as a physical facility, as food. So is there a fight going on to snatch away? Is I need this much, I need this much, or it is being shared. That is what can be explored easily. So what is the priority between the two? Uh, Rupali, ma'am? Uh, yeah. Sir, when I think about the priority between mm. the two, uh, mm. I get two thoughts. So I want mm. you to clarify uh, my thoughts. Mm. So one thought is it is coexistence. Okay. So mm. uh, we cannot prioritize. I mean, both of them, they are important and mm. they are at the same level. I mean, mm. if I do not have... Uh, you know, physical facility available, I'll mm. feel deprived and mm. will, uh, you know, myself will get, uh, mm. you know, uh, affected due to that. Mm. Uh, the other thought in my mind is, uh, mm. sometimes, you know, I can do an upvas for a day. Uh, mm. So I can remain, hung you know, hungry for a day because my mm. mind towards, uh, you know, whatever God uh, that I'm mm. saying mm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. my mind is with the God and I don't feel that of us, you mm -hmm. know, so mm -hmm. maybe self is the priority and body mm -hmm. is the next. So mm -hmm. I just want clarification. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, when we are saying self is the priority, basically feelings in the self is a priority. Feelings of relationship in the self. Self is having what? Feelings. So mm -hmm. those feelings, that is what is the priority. That is what exactly you were saying. And this is what was proposed yesterday, that feelings of relationship while interacting with other human beings. That is what is priority. That is exactly the same thing which uh, you are referring to. Okay. So you are absolutely right, ma'am. And so, then, so probably in uh, all, uh, you know, incidences or everything mm, there, we should mm, be taking it on our natural acceptance. Absolutely, ma'am. Yeah, here also the self is the... Uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely. So this is what happens. We see, look at the relationship between a small baby and the mother. So when little baby wets the bed, what does the mother do? She shifts towards the wet side of the bed and puts the child onto this relationship. Yeah. This is what feeling of relationship in the self. That is what is uh, uh, holds the higher priority. Yeah. So, so yes. Uh, both. When we were discussing, uh, can I uh, give my own experience a bit? Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday briefly, I was discussing mm -hmm. this. Uh, with, yeah, briefly. Yesterday mm -hmm. I was discussing this with my husband. So mm -hmm. you know I was explaining it to him. So I explained mm -hmm. it in a way. That today we are sitting in our house, okay, mm -hmm. and we are happy together. Uh, mm -hmm. So if tomorrow if we sit in a hut, but mm -hmm. our relations are very good, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, still mm -hmm. we will feel the same thing. But mm -hmm. tomorrow we are sitting in a in, in a big big house, you know, mm -hmm. but our relationships mm -hmm. are not good. You know, we are mm -hmm. not it. So mm -hmm. which situation do we like the most? So the mm -hmm. natural answer came from both of us is we both mm -hmm. sitting and still mm -hmm. having good relations. So that Absolutely. is what I mean. Absolutely right, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your sharing. Good exploration. Now, uh, let's uh, move a step further. The needs are fulfilled by what? So, in case of body, it is, can easily be seen that uh, physical facilities are in the form of physiochemical things. Uh, while the need of the self can be fulfilled by right understanding, right feelings. We will be talking about the feelings later and right understanding is understanding harmony at different levels of our existence. Harmony in me, harmony as an individual, harmony in the family, harmony in the uh, society, harmony in the nature and existence. So right understanding and living with that understanding with right feelings. That is what is uh, fulfills the need of the self to be in a state of continuous happiness. Now, the need of the body cannot be fulfilled by right understanding. So, need of the body needs physiochemical thing. So, simply saying that I am in relationship, so I the body still needs physical physiochemical things. So, needs of the body cannot be fulfilled by right understanding and right feelings alone. The needs of the self cannot be fulfilled by physiochemical things as ma'am had just stated. 
So both the needs are different and both types of needs need to be fulfilled. Then both types of need have to be understood separately and they need to be fulfilled separately. So in living, what is the priority? And how much time and effort is spent in right understanding and right feelings? And how much time and effort is spent in accumulation of physiochemical things as physical facility to fulfill the need of the body? We can, we have done this exercise and this is the exercise which we keep giving and we can keep asking. We should, uh, we, we may ask the, the students also. We ask ourselves, we explored it uh, in the AA sessions. So, uh, there is a poll here that is it possible to fulfill the need of the self by physical facility alone? Need of the self by physical facility. Is it possible to fulfill the need of the self by physical facility? So uh, let me just uh, speak to the uh, Sa uh, yes, Kumar ji. Yes, ah, go sir. ahead, sir. Good morning, go ahead. Good morning, Very sir. good morning, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Uh, sir, with the first statement, uh, uh -huh. we have to uh, check uh, carefully, as uh, you have mentioned uh, clearly, that mm -hmm. the needs of the body and mm -hmm. the needs of the self, we have understood that these are different. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need uh, different, uh, you know, like physiochemical things for the body mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, feeling and right understanding for the self. Sir. But sir, r without right understanding, mm -hmm. how can we go for the physical, uh, mm -hmm. physiochemical things? Yes, sir. Suppose physical, physiochemical things, mm -hmm. maybe uh, mm -hmm. some, you know, some poisonous mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. so my right understanding is required to mm -hmm. understand that this may be poisonous for this mm -hmm. particular body of mine. Mm -hmm. In that mm -hmm. sense, sir, mm -hmm. without right or right understanding, mm -hmm. may, you know, is required at the core. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we mm -hmm. may decide wrong things, sir. Why? Mm. Because mm. how many in the individual, how mm. many in the family level, mm -hmm. how many in society, how mm. many in nature and understand and mm. sense, mm. that mm. is the core thing with right understanding. Absolutely, absolutely, and, sir. Uh, absolutely. Sir, I think we have to mm. review this thing that right understanding may mm. not directly help us, but mm. it the core point over there, which may help us to decide what would be the right choice for, for the body. Okay, sir. Not for mine, sir. but for right, sir, family right, sir. members and for mm -hmm. the society also. Because mm -hmm. we right, also sir. refer to community food, sir. So in right, that sir, right, case, sir. we have to think mm -hmm. a lot. Right, sir. So, sir, uh, when we are referring, may I respond now, sir? Yes, sir. Huh. So, when we are referring this right understanding and Understanding harmony as an individual. So what is the individual? It is self and the body self. And what is self? It is the responsibility of the self for proper nurturing, protection and right utilization of the body self. Exactly. So, so it is the responsibility, the self decision. For example, a particular body is hungry. So self takes a decision, I mean, uh, takes a decision to pick up a particular plate having food. Now, the body smells that it is stale. Who takes the decision to reject it or accept it, sir? Self takes the decision because it is the responsibility of the self to nurture the body because now the self finds that it is going to harm the body. So it will ask the body to keep the plate back on the table, not to consume. Absolutely right you said. Right? But then where from does it come? Understanding harmony as an individual. That is what is self and the body. Individual is what? Self and the body. And self has this responsibility for proper nurture, proper protection, that it is biting cold. So body needs to be covered. The decision is taken by the self. Like you see in many, <laughs> many marriage parties in North India, even in this thick winter, the many people are seen uh, with very, very sketchy clothes, you know, and shivering uh, while they have all the uh, woolen clothes at home. 
<laughs> for whatever reason. So this is lack of that understanding in the self. The self, the decision is taken in the self wrongly because maybe they want to uh, uh, exhibit that particular cloth, which is inner cloth and uh, will get covered. It, it's ex exclusiveness uh, or it's expensiveness will not be seen by others. They're trying to seek respect from the clothes, while respect is a feeling in the self. So these are some of the gross misunderstandings. But then it is the self. So it is understanding, right understanding, is understanding harmony as an individual. And what is individual? Self and coexistence, self and body. With the self having the responsibility of proper nurture, protection, and utilization, right utilization of the bodies. Sir, uh, with the second part, I don't have any objection. But with the first yeah. part, clearly seeing that mm. the needs of the body cannot be fulfilled by right understanding, sir, I have a bit objection. Uh, Alone, this sir, 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 sir. Alone, <laughs> this is written. No, no, that that's written. Huh. Uh -huh. Right understanding and right feeling is at the core of uh, this. Yes, uh, it is decision, says both sir. are required. That's, uh, that is that, sir. Uh, if you see here, needs of the body cannot be fulfilled by right understanding, right feelings alone means plus physical facility. It can be yes. fulfilled by no, right understanding, is. right feeling, and physical facility. No, that's that's fine, sir. That we with uh, that I don't have any objection. But with reference to that right understanding and right feeling, uh, you know, alone, fine. That uh, you have already put that uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. example uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. word over there. Mm -hmm. But uh, sir, it it gives a, a clear reference that the needs of the body cannot be fulfilled by right uh, understanding and right feeling alone. Mm -hmm. Uh, that hmm. means what? Right, uh, you are putting right understanding and right feeling as hmm. uh, you know in equivalent position to uh, physical facilities. Oh. No, 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 no. These two are different, sir. Right understanding, right feelings is the need in the self. No, it has that, got nothing to do with the need of the body, sir. Body's needs. No, no, sir. How, how can huh? we decide the need of the body without right understanding and right feeling? That is what is stated, uh, proposed here to be seen, sir. That need of the body cannot be fulfilled by physical facility alone. It requires right understanding, right feeling, and physical facility. That is what is proposed. It, it rereads it. the needs of the body cannot be fulfilled by right understanding and right feelings of the self alone. It requires physical facility. Okay, sir. Focus. And that physical facility decision to consume, not to consume, use it or not to use it, rest with the self. Exactly. That is what is, uh, so uh, is it okay now, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Fine. Sir. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, share. Well. Now, the activities of the body, eating, walking, uh, talking, these are the activities, while the activities in the self are desired thought expectations which are taking place continuously all the time. There is no time when these activities are not going on in the self. While activities of the body, you start walking from point A to point B. So you start at A and stop at B. So there is a, no continuity there. Body is hungry. You start consuming food. You stop after some time. Body is thirsty, you start consuming water, it is stopped sometime. And then again, when body is thirsty, you consume water. So they can easily be explored that the activities of the body are temporary in nature, while the activities of the self are continuous. And the response in case of the body is recognition and fulfillment. It recognizes and fulfills. Like uh, example of that uh, you consume food, body recognizes the food, it follows a particular process, fulfills in a definite manner. You pierce the body with a needle, the blood comes out every time. It recognizes its relationship with that particular needle. Body consumes water, water is taken. Body recognizes water, its relationship with water. And it fulfills in a definite manner. So the recognition and fulfillment in the body is definite. Its interaction with 
any other material it recognizes and fulfills in a definite, in that particular specific manner only. So recognition and fulfillment in the body is definite, while the response in the self is based upon assumptions. Here the recognition and fulfillment is varying as per assumptions. The assumptions change, the recognition and fulfillment also changes. If there are many assumptions with which uh, uh, we live and uh, uh, in, in, the, in the, like an assumption, a person who has such and such type of car, such and such type of house, such and such kind of you know, wealth is more respectable, the assumption. So if this assumption changes, no, other person is similar to me. We are complementary to each other. The positions have got no relevance. It is the understanding with, which is what is more important. My recognition and my interaction with that person will change. So my interaction with this understanding with my peon or with my lab instructor in the uh, assistant in the uh, institute will vary. The instant I have this uh, assumption that other is similar to me, we are complementary to each other. So my conduct, my behavior with this person will change. But if a person having the PhD degrees were well, very superior, so there are certain assumptions. Assumptions like you know, a tall, fair, slim, convent educated advertisement for a bride in the newspapers we see. In an assumption, if a girl like this joins a family, family is going to live with continuous happiness. Everybody is going to live their lives in mutual relationship, mutual happiness, mutual fulfillment. It's an assumption. My child cracks IIT entrance examination, his life is made. Assumption. So we keep living with such kind of, you know, so when, but when this assumption change, my recognition and fulfillment also changes. Now, there is something, a very important word, knowing written here. This is a great potential in the self of human being. The ability to know. Knowing is to see their reality as it is. So, seeing the reality in its completeness by direct observation is definite continuous universe. So, what is the existential reality of the human being? What is the purpose of the human being? Is this purpose of the human being varying from one human being to the other, one person to the other? Is other similar to me? Is this a reality? Are we complementary to each other? Is this a reality? We are mutually fulfilling. It is a reality. So when I see this reality, then my conduct, my behavior starts changing. Then my recognition and fulfillment starts becoming definite. So whenever I live with this reality, seeing this reality, my recognition, my fulfillment also becomes definite. Then my conduct, my behavior with my vice chancellor, with my head of the department, with my peer people, with my lab assistant, with my sweeper, becomes definite. I behave with respect because other is similar to me. This is what this reality I have seen. This reality I have known. Others similar to me is what is naturally acceptable to me. We are complementary to each other. We are interrelated, interdependent. We are mutually fulfilling. So knowing is a great potential in the human being. So when my assumptions are based upon knowing, my recognition, my fulfillment becomes definite. Otherwise, as the assumptions change, the recognition and fulfillment changes. This is what is the response of the self, while in case of body, the recognition and fulfillment is definite. So knowing is to see the reality as it is in its completeness. By direct observation, it is definite, continuous, universal. Assumption is what I accept about that reality. I assume it. But then, 
if this assumption is based upon knowing my recognition and fulfillment is going to be deaf now what is the problem domain in our living that we live with this assumptions without knowing and as the assumptions change my recognition and fulfillment which is expressed through my conduct my behavior my actions through the body also changes and this is what is dependence and partantrata uh let me just lower all hands and uh, uh interact yes ravin kumar ji sir go ahead sir Nam namaste sir ha namaste namaste sir. namaste welcome sir uh no, it's need uh, of the body and self is going on with the with the relationship it's a good discussion uh and i also practically experienced uh, with this uh, uh, mm -hmm. this are because i am suffering from fever maybe mm -hmm. from corona or i do not have tested but mm -hmm. i am uh, mm -hmm. so in spite of this uh, or this mm -hmm. all i am trying mm -hmm. to uh, be content you no know, connected with the contents mm -hmm. and uh, putting my blankets again i just put another blanket because rigor is mm -hmm. coming to mm -hmm. keep uh, sleeping sitting uh, or mm -hmm. changing the position but in mm -hmm. spite of that i am attending uh, this mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the session uh -huh. so it, it is a it is a practical experiment mm -hmm. with the, <laughs> validating the proposal so maybe uh, let us so how how long i can uh, join with this content uh -huh. let us hope that i do not hospitalize but it's a it's a it's a definitely it's a, a it's a practical experience with self and body so self mm -hmm. is guiding to be connected with this content sir mm -hmm. thank you namaste uh -huh. welcome namaste sir namaste sir. only thing this it is the responsibility of the self to uh, protect oh, yes. the body sir so take care sir <laughs> yes, take a yes, right decision at the right time in the cell. Uh, uh, <laughs> If yes, there sir, is a yes, need sir. to go to uh, visit the hospital, uh, do it. Uh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, I am sir. Uh, taking. I have taken the the medicine also. Okay, but, sir. Uh, so let us hope because medical uh, there is also same uh -huh. thing they are prescribing. Okay, sir. Namaste, okay, sir. sir. Thank you. Namaste, namaste. Okay. So uh, there is a poll here. The need of the self care is fulfilled by right understanding, and right feeling, and I can see the excellent exploration by the participants. Well. now what is the uh, resolution then if this is the problem domain that living with preconditioning that assumption without knowing so the knowing through self verification is the process for moving from problem domain to solution domain and assumptions when they are based upon knowing knowing means on the basis of natural acceptance and when i live with such kind of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, understanding then these assumptions are definite because they are on the basis of knowing and this is what is going to lead to definite conduct and this transformation is possible through education sanskar education means providing the right understanding in every student and then capacity to live in relationship with each other with others and capacity to identify the need of the physical facilities and the skills and practice for sustainable production of more than identified physical facility that is what is education and living with that education is going to lead to resolution now if you see the two realities self and body so when we say that recognition and fulfillment in the body is definite means when body interacts recognizes its relationship with other material so if we see any two materials any two materials like a hexa and wood when they interact with each other the wood gets cut or you put a color dye into a glass of water the water gets colored every time without changing the physical conditions to repeat this exercise the same outcome comes so the two materials they recognize each other's relationship and fulfill it in a definite manner so from here we can easily see infer that body is a material unit while self is a conscious unit that is what can be easily be seen because any two material any two material when they interact they recognize each other's relationship 
and the outcome is definite. And so is in case of body. So body recognizes relationship with other material and fulfills in a definite manner. So this is how it can easily be explored, can easily be inferred that body is a material and self is a conscious. So human being is the coexistence of self and body. Body is a material unit. Self is a unit of consciousness. And it is characterized by the activity of assuming and knowing. It is only in the self. So the response is recognition and fulfillment of the body is definite, while in case of the self, it is based upon assumption. So assumption based upon knowing Response will be definite, conduct will be definite, assumption without knowing, then the response will not be definite. It will be unpredictable, conduct is indefinite. That is what is sum up. So, uh, uh, we have some of the questions here, which I would like to uh, talk about. Generally, if, if we, we ask. So, there's a reflection also. I can uh, be resolved within me by knowing by knowing. Mind you, this is the knowing, assuming, recognizing, fulfilling is the response in the self. I, the self, can be resolved within me by knowing. That is what is the reflection. So, the body is tangible, but I can't see the self. It seems so intangible to me. How can we see the self or do we have to assume it only? Okay, let me ask the Gita ma'am, what do you say? Bhaiya, namaste bhaiya. Ah, namaste, namaste. Yeah. Bhaiya, I raised hand hmm. uh, when Ravinder bhaiya was saying he was okay, not okay, feeling okay. well. Okay, Even, okay. I am not feeling well, bhaiya. Okay. But I thought... Um, mm -hmm. Uh, let me see how far my self uh -huh. is cooperating with the body to attend okay. uh, the sessions. Okay. Well, well, well. Okay. Thank okay. you. Bhaiya. So, so take care, ma'am. Uh, take care. Sure, Bhaiya. Sure. Uh, okay. Wish you quick recovery. Thank well, you, thank you, Bhaiya. Uh, uh, Vinay ji, Dr. Vinay, Vinay Chidri ji. Namaste, Bhaiya. Sir, sir. Ha, namaste, namaste. Hmm. Yeah. Body the body is tangible. Yes, yes. So, uh, by but reading I, the senses, I, I feel uh, the sensations in the body. Yes, so, yes. So, uh, by uh, recognizing those sensations, uh -huh. and to if there is a pain uh -huh. or something like that, uh, uh -huh. I give uh -huh. instructions to my body. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Even if my eyes are closed, uh -huh. I can feel that. So, that uh -huh. is how I can recognize that body is there. Uh -huh. I don't need always to see it with my eyes. Uh, great, sir. Great. Hmm. And who is seeing it then? When you are close the eyes, who is seeing yeah. the body? It's it's me that I'm seeing. Uh, self is me. Uh, self is yes, self. Sir. Yeah. So self, it it is not tangible, intangible, but it is there. I can I, easily I can explore it. Yes, very so. Uh, so it so uh, between the two, uh, who is more authentic, self or the body? Is self authenticating that body is there or it is otherwise? The body is authenticated, the self is there. No, the self is authentic authenticated that body is there. Great, sir. Great. Great exploration. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. So this is what it is. Certainly, self is more authentic and it is authenticating that body is there. Great, sir. Thank you, sir. So there is no talk of self in the science. Science doesn't talk of self. Science talks of science, medicine, biology, neuroscience. Everybody is talked about uh, body only. Then how can you talk about self so authentically? What is the need to separate these two then? So, uh, Meenu ma'am. Ji, sir. Huh, what do you say? Huh. So, sir, if I am asked this question, then, sir, uh, I will say hmm. that... Uh, just because science does not talk about self, it does not mean that self does not exist. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I mm -hmm. will invite the students mm -hmm. to take a small exercise. Mm -hmm. And uh, sir, the same example which you gave about food. Mm -hmm. 
So I will tell them that if I am your mother and you come from mm -hmm. college and mm -hmm. I throw the mm -hmm. plate at you and tell mm -hmm. you finish eating, mm -hmm. even if I have made the, mm -hmm. the favorite dish mm -hmm. that you enjoy a lot, mm -hmm. are you going to like it? Mm -hmm. Now, liking or feeling disrespected mm -hmm. happens where? Because nothing mm -hmm. has happened to your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you are feeling bad about it that means your mm -hmm. self is impacted mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and after that sir i will say that through uhv we are trying to work on this uh, lacuna of our mm -hmm. curriculum mm -hmm. by including self okay thank you ma'am thank you in fact very easily the science can include this uh, self the consciousness in its subject of a study very easily it can be done because it can easily be explored. So uh, it is the it is a fit case for medicine to include or biology or neuroscience also. It can easily be done. I don't think while sleeping uh, the activities of self are going on. Uh, so uh, let me just uh, take the last hand, uh, Satya sir, Dr. Satya Shila. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Yes. Uh, so, uh, sir, um, uh, I don't think while sleeping the activities of the self uh, happens. But uh, actually, I believe, uh, I, I myself believe that uh, even during sleep, activities of the self mm -hmm. is continuous. Because mm -hmm. when we talk about mm -hmm. uh, dreams, mm -hmm. it is uh, not the activity of the body. Mm -hmm. It's uh, just the uh, the the thought process of mm. the self which is going about uh, mm. so uh, even Very right, yes mm. so i i feel personally so i would uh, like uh, the mm. student to also try to self explore mm. in that way mm -hmm. because mm. Uh, obviously uh, the self does uh, think mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, thought process everything yes, is there so i uh, feel that way so. very right ma very much very great uh, exploration in fact the dreams are seen by the self not by the body yes. so even during sleep the activities of uh, self are going on. They are all the time going on. Yes. So, very right, ma'am. Okay. So, recognizing is taking place in self as well as body. So, what is the difference between that? This is, uh, uh, may I ask this? Monica ji? Monica, ma'am? Okay. Uh, Hello. Ah, yeah, man. Go ahead. Sir, can you hear me, sir? Huh. Sir, uh, like uh, recognizing the uh, taking place in self, like mm -hmm. uh, I, it is uh, need to be continuous, sir. Like uh, I need some respect. Now, if I am, I don't re need some respect or so, then I will uh -huh. not be having a proper sleep or so. Then body, it is uh, temporary, sir. Like I would like to give an example of uh, number of houses. Okay. Uh, that is, uh, so I cannot live in both the houses at the same time. Okay. So okay. that is the, what mm -hmm. I would like to tell to my students. Uh, uh, okay, ma'am. So I feel both are different and I can ask them to take some more examples or so. <laughs> ma'am, these are the uh, responses of the body and self. So okay, recognition, okay. recognition in case of self depends upon assumption. As the assumptions okay. change, the recognition and fulfillment changes. While in case of body, the recognizing and fulfillment are definite. You know, this oh. is the difference between them. So, okay, uh, this okay. Is, uh, this okay. Is, recognizing the self uh, is uh, definite. Recognizing in the self is recognizing assumption. Assumption. As the assumptions oh, okay. change, I recognize differently and fulfill it differently. While in case oh. of body, it is okay. definite. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, sir. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome.